Mm-hmm. All right. Welcome to episode three of the American Adventure with me, Boo FM. You've caught me here in my local Walmart in Detroit. Yeah, ever since I've been here in the flat, I've been living off takeaways. So I thought when the wife gets here, if I've got no real food in, she will throw a fit. Yeah. One tip if you're English and you come to the States, don't order a large pizza. It's like the size of a truck wheel. Order small. It's large enough. It's insane. Portion size here is insane. Everything's just massive. Everything is huge. What's more insane is on the aisle behind this one, you can buy knives that Rambo would be proud of and laser scopes for your assault rifle. I don't get it. I don't. I've never even seen a gun until I come to America. Anyway, let's get the shopping finished. Right, well, all the shopping's done. Enough of that now. Let's get down to business. And I've got a massive episode for you today. Huge. We've got a few games to get through and we'll show you all the goals from that. We've got a game at home against Louisville. Both of us are up there in the league, uh, biggest teams in the league. So it should be a good game. Fingers crossed. I want a good live com. Also, loads of little bits I want to show you, especially the American national team. If you're an American and you're watching, you're going to be proud, sir. You're going to be goddamn proud. Yeah, anyway, while you're here, don't forget, smash that like button. It really helps me and the show and the channel. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. Happy days. And also, don't forget to hit that bell, because if you hit that bell, you'll never miss an episode of The American Adventure. Hey, you'll never miss me in the supermarket ever again. Right, let's get into it. So hopefully you've seen episode two, you know, we beat Swope Park away from all. Great victory to kick off our campaign. Second game was this against Rochester, eh? I like a bit of Rochester. The Rochester Rhinos, uh, they got a great sponsor, by the way. New Era, <laughs> I love that. Um, and yeah, we beat them 1-0. To be fair, it was proper even. So it's one of them games where it could have gone either way. So we were lucky, really. Good three points. And we followed that up with another victory and uh, a game on TV. You don't get many games on TV at this level. The main games are all in the higher divisions, um, but a great victory. Anytime you win away against anyone, I think that's a good uh, victory. So to win 2-1 was brilliant. Um, and again, it was an even game. A lot of these games are very even. I am, I'm loving the competitiveness of the league so far. Now, I mentioned these in an early episode because I bought a player from him. I don't know how you say it properly. Is it Desmonet? Desmonez? I love it. I don't know why. I think it's brilliant. Uh, and we won again. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really get confident here. Two goals from Charles Hunt. But this is a definite game we should have won. We should have won it by more, really. I mean, this game is a massive game because Portland are predicted to win the league and we were predicted to come second, remember. Um, they were a massive team. They were a Premier League team at the very beginning of the database. So they're huge. So to beat them 1-0, I was very, very happy. Charles Hunt, by the way, is quickly becoming a legend. But then, boom. I'm starting to think, wow, we are. We're invincible. I'm going to walk this league. I'm going to walk out of Detroit with my head held high and a championship. Well, this brought me back down to reality. Wisconsin Rebels. Great kit, great freaking logo. Bastards. Great name. Yeah. Gutted I was. And then again, we stayed in our travels, went to Carolina, we played the Dynamo. And we got beat 2 0 again, I'm starting to think. But again, this is a close game, this. It really, honestly, could have gone either way, so it, we were just unlucky, I think. That's what I'm saying, anyway. And then, thankfully, we had a great game. This would have been an excellent live comp. I hope today's live comp is going to be anywhere near as good as this game. It was brilliant. We had more of the ball. They had more chances. Goals all over the place. One of their lads got that trick. Uh, yeah, it, it was just a fantastic game. 4-3. Absolutely brilliant. Hunt didn't have the best game, but I'm starting to get to know my players now. I'm starting to get to know who the freaking men are and I don't think they're the most consistent bunch of lads yet but I'm just hoping as the season goes on we surely, surely should just get better and better. Let's take a look at the National League and we are third but if you look a little bit closer you'll see we joined top all on 18 points with uh, Phoenix and San Jose uh, so that's pretty good really. We started pretty well but it's really close and I hope it stays like this. I mean all the way down to like Bethlehem who was in sixth position on 15 points. They're only a win away from us. I love this. I want it to be like this. I love competitive leagues where anything can happen when it goes down to the wire. It's well more exciting than walking league. In the comments in the last video, someone gave me a great comment saying they're enjoying this series so far. They're loving it. But they're just struggling a little bit in the way that they couldn't really judge the player that I'm signing and they couldn't really judge the level I'm at. Is it, good? Is it a good player for that level compared to the rest of the world? Because it is a created database. So I, I did want to share this with you. 
uh, I've got a long list, remember. So we're going to have a look at where each competition lies in the world so you can get an idea of where we're playing, where we want to aim to be. So if you have a look here, these are the leagues of the world arranged by reputation. And the top league is the Premier League, then you've got La Liga, and then the American Premier League. They've all, they've all got the same star rating, but there's probably like a point difference between them. Um, so it's the third best league in the world, but it's better than the Bundesliga, Serie A, League 1, and so on. Um, the next level is the Championship Tier 2. That's around Portugal, Russia, Holland, Belgium, that kind of level. So a good size European country level. You know, it's, it, the Championship's a great standard, really. Uh, now we, I'll have to scroll down for that, we are there, the American National League. So we're in the same level as second division German football. The Skybet Championships, same star rating as well, just a bit below us. So, you know, I think we're at like a, a big country second division, really. Now we're going to the Cups, right? Obviously, the World Cup's the best one. Champions League is next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nations League. US Soccer Bowl. Hey, check it out. It is well up there. It is one of the best cups ever in the world to win. Um... And yeah, where's the next one there? The Kobe Jones is down there with a few other, like the French Cup and so on. So, you know, it's there what you're looking at. So the US soccer ball, I wanted to make it like, when it comes to club football, I wanted to make it the best. And it looks like it is the best club cup you can win. Now I wanted to show you America because obviously I rebuilt this system and we're nearly a decade into it. So they've got all these great facilities that they've got in the country being used now. Great training facilities, great stadiums. Uh, really competitive league systems with lots of teams with money you know these players are getting developed now Be better staff come into the country and developing the young American players more uh, and American players are playing at a high standard some of them have even moved abroad you'll see that there if you look at the top player list uh, there's only one player on there that's actually in America a lot of them have gone to Europe but there's some fantastic region honestly the region pornography on this database is amazing especially for America and if you're American or not you might actually enjoy downloading the save file, jumping in at this point and taking over the country because they ain't no ordinary country. Don't be fooled by the fact that they're ranked ninth in the world because of the freaking world champions. That's right, not only was the World Cup held in the United States, they beat Holland in the final. World Cup winners, 2026, the United States of America. So should we have a cheeky look at some of the players? Because they are pretty good. The best player is still in America, and I like that. He plays for Los Angeles. His name is John Gooden. How good is he? He's a striker. Finishing 20 off the ball, 19. Composure, 19. Acceleration, 18. He's sexual. Like, truly. Next best player is Pulse 6. He's still a real player. He's still knocking about. He's still only 28. It's like Peter Bloody Pan, this kid, isn't it? Uh, Richard Sarakin, is it? 27-year-old striker. Again, another amazing striker. He's played for United. He's now at PSG. So obviously the Americans are the number one country in the world. Maybe not in rankings, but the world champions. Uh, I want to look at the number one team in America. And it is Los Angeles Football Club. I think they're a new team in real life. Um, I gave them, I made them pretty good at the start of the database. It was their first season. Uh, it just shows you that some of these teams at like Sacramento and Portland have crashed down the leagues. But Los Angeles have gripped onto that chance and dominated. They've got Jose Mourinho as the manager. You remember him from the Central Series. He was a right thorn in my side. Won eight consecutive titles with Manchester United. Um, and he's doing well here at Los Angeles. They've got a great stadium. They play at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Legendary stadium. Um, and they've got some fantastic players. So... These are the best teams in the country, right? Now, if I'm honest, I'd like to work my way up to something like this. I'd like to go step by step, as long as the series can go, and maybe finish off at an elite team. So, so I experience good, a good three levels. I'd love a year in the national, a year in the championship, and then maybe a year at a top, top club. Now, I mentioned it before about how I'd improve Mexico because of the Champions League, and they have the Scotia Bank, CONCACAF Champions League. It's like the North American Champions League. So you get Canadian teams, American teams, uh, Mexican teams, and a few others, really, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, now, here we are on the history. Now, you obviously see these white areas are the real history. The green areas are since we've started playing with this new database. So you'll notice who wins this. It's all Mexican teams, isn't it? A few American teams have actually, well, one, two teams got to a final, and that's it. Now you'll notice, ever since we've changed the league system, now the Americans have taken over. 
but it's not always an American final. You've got a Mexican team there, Mexican team there, Mexican team there. So they're still putting up a fight. But you can see the Red Bulls, they've won the most. Atlanta have got a couple. Philadelphia, Los Angeles have got one. Toronto got one for Canada. Well done, Toronto. So yeah, this is the ultimate competition for clubs in the North of America. Now, here is the Detroit Ignition squad, and I've arranged it by average rating. I'm just going to show you who's been performing well so far as we're eight games into the season. Um, now, you've not seen everyone and all that, so we'll try and show you people randomly here and there, so eventually, hopefully, you'll see what I'm dealing with, what kind of players I've got, uh, because I think I, I don't think I've showed you everyone. Uh, the guy at the top, I haven't signed him. I think he's still pretty new to the club. Um, I didn't plan on starting, but I did, for, for other reasons, and he's st stuck in the team, and he's now my best player. Uh, we're gonna call him Frank, because I cannot see his second name. That's the kind of player I'm looking at at the minute. He's my best player, apparently. Second best player is Charles Hunt, the guy with 18 finishing. Off the ball, 15, composure, 17. If you thought if you had him in the championship in England, he'd be great, and he's great in this league. He had a great season last year for Buffalo, and he started well for me, to be fair. Uh, we've got Omar, my other striker. He's doing okay. Pretty happy with Omar. Um, Juan Carlos Castro, the Ecuadorian freaking cocaine dealer. Uh, he's not bad, left winger. So, you know, Jonathan, he's unhappy, right? I like Jonathan. This is me uh, left back. He's already at the club. He's quick. He's good. For this level, he's good. He wanted to leave. He's one of the group of players who wanted to go because we got relegated. But I wasn't selling him. Way too young. He's a regen and I couldn't find anything better. So, yeah, I've got a couple of players who are unhappy and want to leave. Now onto the dynamics, I might have mentioned this in another episode about players not liking me, well they didn't like me because I came in, I sold the group of their best players, I sold their team leaders, I changed the captain around, they weren't happy. But it's starting to get a bit better, the atmosphere is getting better, managerial support is now good, because I had some reds on here, a lot of reds. Now onto the pyramid of love, right? And 12 players now support me so I'm getting there, I'm showing them, I'm, it's my way or the freaking highway. Do you know what I mean? Do what I say, I will be fine. I've got great staff. I've got a really balanced squad. We did not have a balanced squad. Even if I wanted to play 4-3-3 three, three something, it was just, it wasn't good. We've got a purely balanced squad. I've got two players in every position. Yeah, we're going in the right direction here. I want to win the league now, I'll be honest with you. Right, then this crazy league of mine has thrown me up a curveball. The Kobe Jones Cup has been drawn as I've started filming and clicking. And clicking on from the Tulsa game, and now I've got this game. So, I'm going to play this game, and then we'll get onto the live comp against Louisville. So, we played the Galaxy, the Rose Bowl, and the second round of the Kobe Jones Cup. And you can tell I am still smiling. Now, the Galaxy aren't a Premier League team anymore. They've slipped down to the Championship, but I didn't expect to beat them 5-1. Great confidence boost for my boys, and what a performance! I mean, Escobedo, which is amazing. How's he not got a ten? How's he only got a nine point eight? Beast, honestly, what a game! So today's live com is, of course, against Louisville City FC, a team that predicted to finish in the top, who are struggling in the relegation zone. So can we build on that game where we just thrash Galaxy and get three points? We need more points. We want to keep pushing at the top of the league. But before I do that. I just want to show you my tactic, and before I show you my tactic, I've got a Buddha Fem, old school hip hop, gangster remix. Na 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 na, it's the motherfucking B double O D. Buddha Fem, motherfucker. Na 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 na, I'm coming at you with the V point three. Yep, we're using the V point three now. I'm only talking about this. Mainly because I've had two two um, messages recently. One message was saying they used the V.3 a few times. It starts off really well and it goes shit. Now, I'm not saying these tactics are amazing. They're not. I am shit at tactics. I do a lot of the other stuff on the game to be good. Um, I don't think tactics are always that important. I'll be honest with you. Because I plug and play loads of tactics like this. As long as I do the other stuff, I usually win. Like staff, training, keeping morale up. I think they're well more important than tactics. I think people think too much about them. So I'm just putting a disclaimer out there for this one and my wall tactic. Now, I had a message of a day for a good mate of mine who said he used a wall for the first time and let a goal in straight away. I'm not claiming you use a wall, you will never concede a goal. 
it's just a defense tactic that is all it is so just a disclaimer for you don't ever download them thinking you're never going to get beat and they're the best tactics ever because they're not quickly because it's popped up in the news feed but this shows you how good the american nation is now their under 20 is just won the conquer calf under 20 championship elijah wood the hobbit my match. welcome to the match preview and we're playing here at the big house my mate peter told me that he's an american dude hi pete uh, yeah our stadium is nicknamed apparently the big house i love that um we are favorites with the bookies we're in the best form and we need these points hopefully phoenix and san jose can drop some points and we can finish this episode top of the league to the big house and these are the team lineups um, starting to get a little bit better I've got that link line between my centre highlights my centre mids and my strikers just need me full backs and wingers to link up um, but you can see in the background there it is definitely the big house although I am just a little bit weirded out as to why the corners aren't building you think the second biggest stadium in the world would go all the way around wouldn't you but who cares eh time to kick some ass right into the dressing room and um, I'm going to be serious I want three points today I expect nothing but a win. No greens, but the no, I mean business. Let's get started. Come on, Detroit. Come on, Detroit. Let's do this. Nice handshake. Stadium is pumping and bloody massive, isn't it? Love it. And we kick off here at the big house. Come on, boys. What performance. What performance for you guys? Because the last two games have been brilliant. Yeah, I know it's like a hundred and something thousand seater. I looked at the history of capacities and we only ever get like 40,000. Now, we spent most of our times at this level, so I do wonder, I reckon if we went up, we'd get more fans. I reckon if we were a successful Premier League team, I don't say we'd fill it, but I reckon we'd get a lot more, double what we get now. So yeah, I think we average about 40,000. We'll have a double check actually at half time. Right, 22 minutes in, nothing, nothing's happening. It's on extended highlights as well. Honestly, you put another, do you know people are watching this? This does be heady. So embarrassing. Right, Jonathan. Jonathan to hunt, hunt. Should have finished that, hunt it. But yeah, thanks to everyone who's supporting the series so far. You always get a lot of people watch the first episode, then they drop off. I think a lot of nosy people in the community watch it and they don't actually want to watch the series. But you guys who are going to stick with it, massively appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll never miss one. And here come Louisville on the attack and they're going to score and they've gone 1 0 up. Jerry. Edestal Stein. Bastard. I'm going to uh, demand some more. Because I'm not expecting that. 35 minutes in, unextended. We have one highlight and they score. They've been in woeful form, man. We've been unstoppable. Ish. Oh. Half time and what a bag of shit. Four chances each we've had. We've had more of a ball. This is this is not good enough. Only one thing for it. Sylvester Stallone over the top. Puts his hat back. He wins. It's worked for me in the past. Right, I'm just going to do an Alex Ferguson shoe in the face. There we go, loads of greens. I'll also do some subs if they don't change anything within the first 10 15 minutes. Come on, Detroit! I love this city. Did a little, little, little in. I did, 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 did. I did a little, little, little in. I did, 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 did. That song was brilliant, do you remember it? Can shout anything I can. Push forward. And do you know what? Sod it. Let's go attacking. Let's go attacking early doors. Let's get at him. We're at home at the big house. We're in our house. And we're playing like a bunch of chumps. Absolutely rubbish. Do you reckon we're at our time? I like to imagine, because it's America, that we'd have uh, cheerleaders. Because they love cheerleaders, don't they, America? It's like a big thing. Uh, when I went to watch the NFL at Twickenham. Amazing. Hunty, 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 Get in. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, just imagine it. Like the, the battery girls. The pom-poms and the boobies. Doing a little halftime show for us. But yeah, it's brilliant. Watching the NFL game. It's not just a game. You go to a football in England. Or anywhere. Good chance. And you go in. You watch the game. You go home. When you go watch the NFL, it's an event. It's like going to a concert. You know, it's not just the game. It's, it's so good. Right, come on, boys. 
highlight here and it's the Louisville City FC boys on the attack playing all white look a bit like Real Madrid are they going to play like Real Madrid not with tackles like that from Ocken Wocken Wowu freaking brilliant challenge and what a donkey that was donkey shot right I'm going to make a change I'm going to bring Castro off and I'm going to bring on Andy Murray the tennis player hopefully don't let me down so yeah let me know in the comments how you feel about the series you enjoy it you're going to stick with it do you know what I mean? Is there anything that might put you off watching it? Do you know what I mean? I want people to stay and enjoy it. Um, I also want to know what you're doing. Are you having to go yourself? Have you downloaded my database? Have you downloaded the save file? Are you starting in the year 2027 with me? Tell me your stories. I love. I always love to sit over people's football manager stories. I'm a gimp. Here we go. Hunt good cross to Escobedo. Escobedo! Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to my mum's with my wife after this to um, eat a chippy. If you don't know what a chippy is, we have them all over the place in England. You get chips, which are like fries, but fatter and better. Um, and fish in batter with peas and curry sauce. That's what I'm having, and I'm very excited about it. The hat's worked, hasn't it? Hey? I look like Fred Durst. Do you remember Fred Durst? Do you know what? It's working so far. Right, Campbell. Can I get a cheeky shout out in quickly? Can I? Are we going to score? What are we going to do? We nearly scored. Right, concentrate, boys. Let's get a concentrate. Cheeky. Concentrate. Right, less than 10 minutes ago. Second half's been well better, hasn't it? First half was freaking pfft, absolute dog shit. I was going to make another change, but I realised I put a strike on the bench who's injured. So I can't, so I can't. I don't really want to change anyone else. I'm not really feeling it, I'll be honest with you. Um, I thought we'd do better than these, but I think the shows at Louisville are a good team still. They're just maybe on a bad run. You know what I mean? That's why they're in the bottom three. We just need to remember to hold on here. Maybe I should switch away from attacking. But here they come. No, 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 no. How did that not go in? I'm actually going to switch back to standard. Can I say anything else I can? Tighten up, tighten up, that'll do me. Ping it out on the floor, go on, hit it, hit it, Lawrence. <gasps> ah, I'll take that all day long. 3 1, great goal, happy days. Yes, that is it, full time. We've done it in the end. The hat worked, the second half was good, the first half was shit. Three points in the bag, boys. Team talk, I'm just going to be passionate, I always am. I'm a passionate kind of fella, you've done brilliantly there to come back. Loads of green, morale boosting. We're going to win the league, we're going to win the league. And here is the league. And we are second. Um, San Jose still got to play. Obviously, Phoenix have won, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure they have. I can't see them, but they have. Yeah, they have 2-1. They beat Colorado Springs. But we're in it. You've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Um, have we got anyone who's good? We've got Hunter at the top of the player in the match list. And that's about it. Come on, Detroit. Well, episode four will come back and the live call will be at our place again at the big house. And we're going to play FC Buffalo. It's a nice gap in between that now and then. Plus FC Buffalo are currently fourth. So hopefully they're still fourth. And we have a great football game. Soccer game. What do you want to call it? In episode four. You better join me for it. Right then, that's it. That is the end of episode three. As always, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I'm back home in the flat. Great day's work. I'm going to chill out with a whiskey and watch some American TV. Although, have you ever watched American TV? Nothing but adverts. Drives you crazy, man. Drives you crazy. Anyway, really do appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you smash the like button. If you are brand new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the bell and you'll never miss an episode of the American Adventure. And this is gonna be an adventure that you can't miss out on. You'd want to miss out on it. Anyway, I do appreciate you being here. I do appreciate any support you give me in the comments or whatever, honestly. You're a bunch of legends. I love you. I've been booed. You've been great. I'll see you next time.